Great Engineer has been born. Now let's see what we can make, and we can sort of hurry that up. Um, free. Uh, that's not too amazing. Is that really the best I can do right now? I guess. Okay, so I'm gonna build an armory. I think let's do you know for more experience. Let's uh, start a golden age at 12 turns. Get us a shitload of money. The one dies. I don't care. You're not even my favorite city. And then over here we can make a workshop to speed up the production. Here we go. Now let's let's shoot them again with our bows. Hopefully the swordsman is gonna do a low a low low low, 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 low of damage or lots, you know, whichever you prefer. Strategic resource penalty. Wait, what? Strategic resource penalty? What the fuck does that mean? Why does it say that? That's annoying. Pillage. Sup. Okay, I'm just gonna attack, because you know I need I need to kill them. They need to be stopped. Their evil is too big. Tile improvement. What? Why would you why would I repair their improvement? That is dumb. Why are you even suggesting that game? You're pissing me off. Okay, we got the great general. Just do nothing. Just ch chill out. Okay, just move up. We need the knights to go first. Oh fuck, the pikemen. Swordsmen are still alive. In a trade with okay. Well, sure, let's let's do that. She she only has one city anyway. Only London, so she's fucked anyway. Um, let's see. This is on a hill, so let's go with rough. Rough terrain, so we get an extra bonus against attacking the city. Tenage Titlan, sure, let's do that. Let's move up. Michiel de Ruiter, just go over there so you can give a bonus to more people. You, my friend, are hurt. Kind of want him to move away. Is she that'll work? Let's attack the city and take him down. Penalty versus city, so they don't have the strategic resource penalty anymore, thank god. Oh, they're almost done, guys. We're doing good so far. Now, hopefully, after this war is done, we can get to peace with the Mongolians, so we can build a, build up an even bigger army. We've got a booming economy. We're making, you know, tons of money. We've got good production and food. Okay, so one guy got killed. That kind of sucks. But still, we're doing great. There's no reason to get discouraged by this. Hoo, boom boom. Next. Hoo, hoo. Boom boom. Okay, so the city is ripe for the taking. New Sarai belongs to us now. So there's a few options. Create a puppet. Annex the city. Let's create a puppet for now. So we did we did it. We took a city, finally. And now it's officially ours. Which means that we are awesome. And we can now safely move through this area. Now the first thing that we might want to do is take over the next city. I'm just not sure which one that would be. Um, no, don't do that yet. We're still at war, you know, so we still need to figure out uh, what's going to happen next. Uh, let's see. Oh, what's up, dude? Come to bed for mercy. He doesn't want to negotiate peace with me. That's kind of sad, but okay. Don't want to negotiate peace? Then sure, don't do it. I don't care. Monaco, my friends! Hey, how about 250 gold? There you go. Oh, hey, we're shy. How about 250 more gold? And now we also have some more vision. We have some friends. And they're also at war with uh, Genghis Khan. Khan? Genghis Khan. So that could help us out as well. Let's see. Great general, eh? I'm not going to sacrifice him yet, because I could use him to start a... Uh, well, let's make a pastor. I could actually use him to get another Golden Age, or, you know, prolong the one that we're in right now. Uh, to get even more money, but... What? Why? Oh, they're probably friends with the freaking... Uh, what's their face? Genghis Khan. So this guy is fine. Let's go with a finding a rough terrain, and you need to heal up, buddy. Seriously. You just build improvements, you do your thing, and I need the rest to sort of spread out and just, you know, look alive, protect the area, but don't get too close to the enemy city, and then we can safely move everybody inside of the territory. So good job, us, for doing that. 
to stay there next turn. Honestly, every everything so far is just going very much according to plan, and I'm happy with that. So we safely took down Genghis Khan. He's now actually third place. See, I'm actually caught up to him. We fought together against a common foe. I'm not sure if they're actually waging a war against them. They could be, I'm not sure. Uh, but we'll find out about that. But first, you have some more gold, and we can have your incense, and you can go to... Oh, what the fuck? Scout? Seriously? Is that really the best you can do? To get the fuck out. I ain't afraid of your shit. Uh, workshop Mint. Let's go with a uh, temple? Culture? Yeah, sure, culture. Why not? I like culture. It's pretty sweet. And then you, my friend, are going to make another caravel. Because we're going to need our boats to sort of protect our coasts. You know, no matter where. They're going to need to be covered. Okay, I'm just, I'm just being serious. Uh, because, well, as you can see, they're going to try and infiltrate through here or there or there. Um, if we have boats, like, at least, like, six of them just patrolling this whole area, then I'm pretty sure we're going to be safe against his boats. Like, they're not really good anyway. Not right now, he's just using a, um, a unit that is, uh, embarked. So it's not, you know, it doesn't actually have any combat capability. It's a, it's a scout, too, so whatever. But, you know, just trying to be safe. So next thing is going to be, I'm thinking here, but we could go for Old Sarai or Besh Balik. Now, from a logistic point of view, I think Old Sarai would make more sense, because then we would get Diet City, connect our borders to Monaco, who are our allies, get the enemies, or, you know, get our allies, their enemies, so we can get Monaco and our units throughout this whole area, and back to Siam if we want to, without anyone noticing. But if we take that, then we're really close to Karakoram, there's still that in between us. So Old Sarai is definitely, now that I think about it, our next uh, target, unless he wants to negotiate peace. Hey, so how about you give me your gold and some money, I don't care how much, just give me like 20 gold per turn or something, I don't know. Oh, he accepted, what a dumbass. And now he's just friendly, like, oh, we traded recently. So thanks for your free shit, you dumbass. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just make a shitload of units, as many as I can. And let's see, there we go, make peace. We got a general, but I'm actually going to keep him for now, since we still have a Golden Age going, so that'll be fine. Next turn. Open borders, yeah. Um, that doesn't really seem like a good... Only if you give me first, I'll do it. Okay, now fuck off. This is not going to happen. There we go. Okay, so let's move the caravan over there. Oh, there's some bandits. I didn't even know. Steel, let's actually clean up the bandits before they can, you know, become too much of a nuisance. And then I'm gonna make a trebuchet, which will make... Make it way easier to take down other cities. Too bad I can't make a frigate without iron. Or a catapult. Um... Aqueduct. Anchor what? A magic castle. Porcelain tower is pretty good. Uh, Grand scientist appears. Okay, let's go with that. You know, I like science. It's pretty sweet. Okay, so there we go. Everybody is just standing there, just looking intimidating. That is just how I want it. You just stay here, you know, just to protect the area. Too bad we don't have iron. Hey, buddy. What is happening with you? How about them spices, eh? Okay. How about a defensive pack, eh? Um, there's probably someone with iron. How about you, Georgie? You got some iron for me? You got some, uh, some... Cotton. Okay, what do you want for cotton? Because how about I give you a horse? Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Is the following trade of interest to you? Dude, you're stupid. Why? Uh, what's your problem, man? Stupid. Go away. Okay, so that's not working very well. Uh, what if I annex the city? It will allow you to choose production, but will increase your unhappiness and slow your acquisition of new policies. Blah blah. Leave as a puppet. Puppet cities are actually pretty successful uh, and useful because they don't necessarily give you any like burdens and stuff. So we're as you can see, we're making a lot of money, like serious amounts of money. Um, I was actually oh wait, I didn't mean to gift you anything. Let's uh, give them some some stuff. There we go. 
So they like us even more. You know, we're gonna try and get some some more city states to uh, to like us, and then that way. See, he's actually moving all his units to the border as well. He's preparing for war, and I'm preparing for war, but too bad for him that there's no way in hell that he can actually prepare for this better than I can. Um, I just need to focus on actually, you know, making units and getting them uh, across like this. Why is... Oh, that's the general. Okay. Um, so let's see how we're going to do this. Still not that much space, you know, for us to stand in, but I'll do what I can. So we got some pretty, a pretty good amount of units here. What is English Empire? I think I saw the only unit the Mongolian Empire had. Uh, I should make fun of them. Or stronger. See, the Siamese are very strong militarily. I'm not sure if they're going to try and do the same thing that we're doing or how this is going to turn out, but we'll see about that later. Uh, let's get rid of these bandits, please. And let's build a horseman. No, that's shitty. Let's go with a knight. Yeah, let's go with a knight. And we have another caravale. That is going to protect us. There we go, caravale. Um, just stay there and just, you know, look alive. Just be careful of enemies. You too. Plays you alert mode. Next turn. I don't even care if he knows I'm going to attack him, but whatever. Attack. Dex Coco has grown. Oh, there's his freaking scouts. You know what? No, I do not accept. See, now your scouts are trapped. I hope you're happy with that. Uh, I hope so. And, you know, even if he declares war on us and the scout is still there, then Edinburgh will just take care of them. So I'm sure it'll be fine. Anchor Watch has been built, but not the porcelain tower. So I'm still okay. I don't really care. Um, what is over here anyway? Just ocean, right? Yeah. Let's just uh, send out a caravel to explore, I guess. And um, printing press can get us more happiness. So I'm going to go with that first. Um, no matter what, people are suggesting that I do. And I'm going to make a crossbowman. Because they're pretty sweet. Somebody needs to take care of the, the bandits, you know, thingy. Please, somebody. Do this. Oh, what the heck is that? Wait a second. So you go and explore, dude. But do you see? Do you guys see what I see? I see iron. I see iron. If that is a good island, I'm gonna definitely gonna make a little colony over there. Oh fuck. Okay, it's not what I thought it was. I could still make a city, <laughs> just for shits and giggles. Just take a look at that. But I'll I'll do that later. Just not right now. You know, it's not. It's, this is not the moment in my life where I should be making little cities in, in, in shitty places. Um, they're still doing okay over here, actually. Let's go with the library. And you guys over here should make another crossbowman. Or actually, let's go with a pikeman. Uh, because I only have one of them, I guess. Maybe two, I'm not sure. I don't, I don't know. But, you know, having them against mounted units can, can never hurt. May adopt to policy. Freedom. Uh, cost of upgrading military units reduced. Extra happiness from every defensive building. See, that's a really good one. And then we only get two happiness from that. Seriously? I thought we would have more than that, but okay. I'm going to explore around here a bit to see what's going on. Move up, buddy. We have a lot of units, so we can, you know, still... I think we're still better than the Mongolians. See, they only have the, like, oh, well, I think I saw the only unit they have. They're so lonely and stupid. Hey, that's uh, Kr 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 Krakatoa. Increases happiness and stuff. It's pretty cool. There was an, If there actually is like a big island attached to it, I'll probably make a, uh, a city. Uh, victory progress. Science. It's pretty... We're getting there. We're getting there. Votes for you. Three. And we need a lot more, though. England has completed one of five uh, trees, so I guess they're winning that one. But pretty much everyone is still in control of their capital, so there's not really one person out there that's that's really screwed yet. Except, you know, England only has London. Oh, they, they probably made a, a second C. Or not, I'm not quite sure. They could have done that, but I'm, I don't know. Come on, when is the, uh, the, the peace tree expired? Come on. Sugar and silver expired. Blah blah blah. You just make a knight again, 
And then I'm gonna trade with the uh, Rekkerorang. And I'm gonna give him silver and you're gonna give me some sugar. How about that, buddy? He's got a shitload of that anyway. Um, Siam, I like you. You're... Oh, he doesn't have anything? That's not a really good deal. No, go away. I like you, but still, no. Hey, what, uh, what about that cotton, eh? Yeah, okay, that's pretty cheap. I'll do it. Hey, Jengi! What's going on, dude? How about first? Okay, just leave the open boards and give me first for this. What, that's really ridiculous. No. How about um, I take uh, old Sarai of your hands and you give me uh, for some silver? Eh? Okay, well, you're a bit of a bitch, you know that? How about um, Tabrid? Is there any deal at all that can, like I can take one of his cities? What is up with these things over here? What the heck? Uh, Samarkand. No, he probably doesn't want me taking his cities. You know, it's understandable. I'm not mad at him for, for that. Uh, we completed a porcelain tower. That's a really good thing. Ah, see, the Circus Maximus was actually never completed. Because we need the Colosseum in Texcoco. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to purchase the shit out of it. It's worth it. It'll get me happiness. And then finish the Circus Maximus for even more happiness. Wow. That's okay. Okay, Pikeman completed. Move up, buddy. We're going to need you up there since the war is starting soon. Let's go with a free tech. I'm going to take archaeology because I can get a museum and the Louvre. Or the Louvre. I don't really know how to pronounce that. And uh, and just, you know, get some, some more culture buildings. And we're way ahead of other people with that, I suppose. And that's definitely a good thing. Peace tree expired. Research agreement. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, some things have, you know, expired. Uh, let's go with steel next. Uh, let's make a defensive pact. Oh, no, 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 no. Wow, that almost was really bad. Uh, defensive pact with my friends. How about that, buddies? How about that? Hey, Elizabeth. I don't really care about her. I'm not going to offer her one of those. So, um, that's where we at right now. We're looking quite good. A lot of things being finished in two turns. That's good. Okay, so let's see how fast he will actually declare war on us.